Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie Ina, your neighborhood friendly shade thrower at my likes. Okay, not. Today I'm gonna to be creating one of my very first makeup tutorials. I've been seeing this tag go around for quite some time now, and I must say I'm kinda of here for it. I mean, I haven't really been inspired by a tag in a long time. Sometimes it's kinda of nice just to see where you came from and how far you've come and how much further you have to go. Dang, I wasn't trying to get that deep with it. For this video, I'm going to be participating and collaborating with Listerine to participate in their Bold Refresh campaign. And you're probably thinking, what the heck does Listerine have to do with this video? I know I thought the same thing. It's kind of symbolic. Much like what mouthwash does, you know, kind of like starting over, this campaign kind of embodies like refreshing an old video or old part of me that used to live on this channel. Probably gotta be one of the most unique and creative sponsorships I've ever done. Thank you, Listerine. We're partnering with your girl for this video. I'm, I'm actually really excited to do this video. And they sent me a little welcome letter to get me started, to get this whole thing popping. Dear Jackie, congrats on making it to your eighth year. Eighth year. What the heck have I been doing for eight years on YouTube? I don't even know sometimes. I don't even know where the ideas come from. At Listerine, we're all about celebrating people that do something bold and make it a chance and take a chance at changing the game. You've transformed big time to say the least. And we think you're a total inspiration. Oh, well, thank you, Listerine. We'd love to see how you'd take your, one of your very first videos to the next level by giving it a bold refresh. And I had jalapenos later, so I'm definitely need this. Thank you, good, good looking out, Listerine. We can't wait to see what you come up with, and we're sure you'll inspire on a whole new generation of bold go-getters. Go forth and be bold, Listerine. Thanks, guys. Listerine is challenging me to refresh it up. Do you guys remember my Freakum Dress tutorial? It was actually called the Friday Night Club Makeup Tutorial. Okay, I uploaded this video seven, what, what year is it? Seven, almost eight years ago. Okay, so this was just six, six or seven months after I had started my YouTube channel. I remember this being one of my first viral-ish videos. The reason why I chose that video is because at the end, <laughs> you guys remember? Whoo, I'm trying not to cry, let me get my cup of girl. I, every time I think about my past and like where I've come from, not that I'm ashamed or, or sad about it, I get emotional when I think about how far I've come. When I recorded that video, I was not happy at all. It was shortly after I started my YouTube channel, a channel that really, I didn't even really, I don't, I mean, I don't know. It, it definitely kind of was like something that I accidentally stumbled upon. Um, there at the, and I just remember being like embarrassed to turn on the camera and record videos because it wasn't like, it was like, what the hell are you doing? You know? And at the time, did I mention I was married? Most of you guys already know that at the time I was married. When I first started my channel, I was living in Hawaii. I was married, I'm extremely unhappy. We're not going to get into why at that time. Needless to say, I, I, I wasn't around very positive, uplifting people. And, um, at that time, YouTube was literally the only thing, one of the only things that kept me going. I miss when YouTube was like a little community and people, you genuinely got to like know people. And whew, as much as YouTube isn't a blessing to me now, there was just something so pure about that, that YouTube, you know? I don't know, I just get really like choked up when I think about like how much, whew, gosh, my, I'm completely different place completely different place just and um i'm just i'm way happier now i'm way happier now i guess i just want to say to anyone out there that's going through it and you really don't understand why or you feel like there's no purpose or no silver lining i mean all i can really say is your journey is you're going through that for a reason and nothing in life is permanent not not even good things you know not even good things everything is temporary i'm so 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 glad that creating content was one of the things that pulled me out of feeling worse Worthless, feeling hopeless, not feeling like I had a purpose. Videos in uniform. I used to film videos on my floor. I used to film videos on uh, in an empty apart, you know, empty apartment. This was way longer than I was hoping it could be. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and get started. I gotta start. Ah! I gotta get. Let me get started. I'm giving myself a refresher now because it's been a while since I've watched this video. My eyebrows could have been better, but. It's not the worst case scenario we've seen, right? I even put a note in the video. I saved the best for last. Do you guys remember that part? If you've seen this video, then you remember. If you're an OG Lil Pumpkin Pile Fiber, then you remember what happened at the end of the video. Oh, this Mac! I, I didn't it, I didn't discover NARS or, or NYX yet or Lancome. I, I went through a phase. So I tried to keep it as true and authentic to the original look, okay? 
I'm actually really excited because I also get to show you like a bolder upgraded version because I mean I think I've gotten a little bit a, a little bit better at makeup over the years oh god I forgot this is that phase where I would do eyebrows first I've since retired from those types of antics but for the sake and the flow of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and do that anyway. Y'all do yourselves a favor and get a magnified mirror because it's literally changed my life. Oh, wait, I need primer. I think back then I just used to use stud by itself, but stud's really dark. And I've since then changed my antics. So I'm, I'm gonna use a combination of stud and spiked. Spiked is a little bit softer. I used to love me a black eyeshadow base. Like you really could not tell me nothing. I'm gonna take Milani Shadow Eyes in black and use that as my lid this really helps those like metallic shadows like really pop but you gotta keep it just underneath that crease girl and then i'm gonna start blending it out with a shadow brush this was kind of like my experimental phase when i started to get really really comfortable and confident and i not that i i've shied away from color but this is when i used to really like pack it on bold colors vibrance like and i know a lot of people say they miss those looks but you grow up i mean you kind of your tastes change. I remember when I used to think your skin but better was so boring. And now that's like my staple, you know? Like you just, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, if literally everybody's style evolves, whether it be through makeup, clothes, hair, whatever. If you look the same, then I'm side eyeing you. Now that I look like I punched somebody, you gotta go in with your crease color. Now I looked for typographic, which is what I used in the original look. I couldn't find it. So instead I opted for Blackberry, which is basically a more dustier, it's like a dusty mauve purple, which is actually a color that I would prefer to use because typographic or whatever it's called is gray and uh, not for my skin tone. So I'm packing that into my crease just like I was in my original look. I remember when MAC shadows were like the only brand that I could really get to show on my skin tone. Boy, have things changed. This is looking very Lil Pumpkin Pile 5 already, very 2009. So back when I couldn't really afford MAC, like long before I worked for the brand, I would buy samples of their pigments on eBay because first of all, they were dirt cheap. But God, that was so dangerous. Like who knows what could have been in there. So instead of buying the whole thing, I would just buy samples and Listerine actually, they sent me a sample of Fuchsia pigment, which is one of the pigments I used for this look. It's like so weird. It's almost kind of nostalgic. It's like, wow. So they sent me that and a little, this is exactly, well, most of them were plastic back then, but so anyway, I took little bits of that and then I also popped that into my crease. This isn't really normally something I would do just because I feel like that's a lot of shimmer for the crease, but like I said, we're recreating the look, girl, so go ahead and do what you gotta do, girl. I've definitely improved at blending, that's for sure. Next, I took Carbon Eyeshadow and that was the lid color. This is a very, very smoky, dark, like the look that everyone used to wear to the club back then. Girl. So I'm popping that onto my lid. I wasn't even going anywhere with all this stuff. I was, I literally wore these looks to work and that was it. This was just to impress people and make sales goals. That's it. Lord knows my ex-husband sure as hell wasn't taking me nowhere. Shade. I feel so extra. I feel almost too old for this. I feel like the pink makes it like a lot. You know, it makes it like very over the top, but I'm not mad at it either. <sighs> I mean, this was the Mac look. This really was the MAC look. Okay, so honorary mention, I added Intoxicating Lashes from Flutter Lash, just because I felt like it, you know what I mean? One thing I hate about this look though, like until you add foundation and concealer, you will literally look like Voldemort. I was a diehard Studio Fix Fluid lover and wearer for years. Okay, you literally could not tell me anything, anything about any other foundation if it wasn't this. And I will not be priming with Milk of Magnesia. I've since also retired from those days. Those were the days, man. I miss the old YouTube, straight from the soul YouTube. And now I look and look around in this so many YouTubes. I miss the old YouTube. Oh, this foundation has a strong smell. I don't know what I was putting on my face. Ooh, girl. Lots and lots of coverage. Remember guys, this look is beat. This look is beat for the gods, beat for LAX. Beat for the Orange County Fair. This is where you guys discovered the original Jackie O. I'm gonna take my Pro Long Wear Concealer and do one squirt per under eye. This went from zero to MAC very quickly. I don't really think I discovered contour at that point. So just in the sake of tying it all together, we're gonna add it anyway. This is Espresso from Hourglass. 
because I mean, this look just screams contour. Later on, I went on to discover Blunt from MAC, but I think that was like later tutorials. I'm just a different Jackie, man. This is just a lot for me. I couldn't leave the house without Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. This was like everything to me, everything in a jar to me. I'm just gonna pop that on top of the face as if I couldn't get any more cakey. You never have too much product. Another staple of mine was Raisin Blush, but this is quite red. I do like this more for like a everyday flush look. I wouldn't necessarily wear that blush with looks like this, but I think I probably just used this because it's one of the only ones I had really liked at the time. So I'm gonna go for it. I was so into this whole like matte movement. I mean, I loved, I loved it. I loved it not only because I had oily skin, but I don't know, I just, I just really liked it. Now I don't have mineralized skin finish in comfort, which is what I use in the video, it's discontinued. So instead I'm gonna use, it was kind of like a warm golden champagne color. Instead I'm gonna use Double Take from Art Couture, which has actually become one of my favorite colors lately. And I actually like that I added that. It took away some of the matte. I'm gonna add some setting spray to kind of like bring my face back to life just because this is so matte for me. I'm gonna take my Too Faced Hangover Spray, love this stuff. Current lip liner was like every chocolate girl staple back then, so I lined my lips with that first. The day I discovered lip liner and what it could do, whew, y'all really couldn't, y'all, I mean, I, it was a done deal, it was a wrap. This look needs some purple. I'm gonna take Supernova from, yeah, yep, next level. Okay, this is, this. they didn't call this bold refresh for no reason, okay? That's so what I should have been serving was a little bit of purple on these cheeks. See, I hadn't gotten that advanced yet. Next, I'm gonna take up the amp lipstick, which was one of my, whew, this was like, this was like the first time I really discovered color, like purples and jewel tones on my lips instead of like nudes. Now, I didn't stop there. I put pink gloss on top, but the gloss I used in the video was discontinued, so I'm gonna take Hot Mess from Too Faced. This is their melted latex, and this is the closest color I could find that I had to the original. Do you take me serious in this look, yes or no? Did I get the job, yes or no? I came here to turn in my resume. I just wanna know, did I get the job, yes or no? You know, it's so weird how like makeup can literally change your whole vibe and I I don't even feel the same in this makeup. Like I remember this used to be my like, uh, come get it, zaddy look. And now it's just like, I feel awkward. <laughs> but I, I mean, I really, really love doing this challenge. It just reminds me, how much I've really grown and changed. And don't get it twisted, not to say anybody who rocks this confidently can't, it's just I think I'm a little older, so I don't know, my style's change, and I just think it looks different. This lip, however, everything from here down, I can definitely rock with. But I don't know, it's fun. It's fun to do something different and go outside the box. And I'm also really thankful that Listerine had partnered with me for this video. So shout out to you, Listerine. Thank you so much. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of old versus new. When it comes to this bold refresh campaign, I can't help but think it's never too late to start over. It's never too late to start fresh. You can always get a second chance at making something of yourself. If I can do it, seven, eight years ago, I mean, I was 22. When you're 22, you think you're supposed to have it all the way figured out. And let me tell you, you absolutely do not, okay? And anyone at any age can have a bold refresh. I'm so cheesy, I know. <gasps> now I mean it when I say this, but now I'm challenging all of you to put your boldest self forward and do a refresh of your own. Try something new, try something outside the box. This was definitely outside the box for me. And thank you again to Listerine for partnering with me for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you subscribe on your way out if you have not already. Thank you again everybody for supporting me for almost a decade. Old, new, recent subscribers alike. I'm so grateful for all of you and I just wanna, cont who knows where this channel is gonna take us for the next eight years. I have no idea. Hopefully we're still here, we're still kicking it and Still throwing shade. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I really hope to see you on my next video. And I mean, you already made it to the end. So <laughs> you know exactly, you know exactly what time it is. Okay, click that video.